Hey YouTube, just making some coffee and cleaning things in the old kitchen. Mm -mm -mm. Probably the best tasting instant coffee I've had in a while anyway. I don't usually drink it, but I was in a hurry today. But, uh, been messing with this. Let me tell you something. That right there, this is what rodents will cost you. Do you see that? We didn't have that stove uh, up until a few weeks ago. Reason being, rodents. It got cold out here. And the rodents just went <laughs> into the house. And the first place they found, for whatever reason, was the range. You can say a lot of things. You know, oh, they're cute and they're cuddly and you shouldn't kill them. Wah, wah, wah. You haven't had one destroy a thousand dollar piece of equipment yet. Anybody that says that has not experienced true loss from rodents. That stove in there, all told, once the agreement was completed, I had to get it on time payments. Once the agreement was completed, about $700 was parted with, you know, to be paid over 12 months. That's not too bad, you know. That's excellent, actually. But I had to pay $700 to replace a stove that was ravaged by mice. Well, rats in this case. Got up in there. For that matter, why do people build things idiotically like that? Why does that stove have to have openings in the bottom of it big enough for them to get in? So you can go down there and you can fork over 700 bucks for another one that'll probably be invaded in the same way in about a week's time. You know how many mouse traps I got around that thing right now? Rat traps? <laughs> now those bastards, they came in. We're sitting there in bed, and you can just hear them all through that roof, man. The first thing they found was the stove. The second thing they found was the drop ceilings. Whoever built this house, I'll show you this. This house is one of them old-style houses, and it has those tall, tall ceilings. Makes it hard as hell to heat. Well, somebody had the great idea, we'll just build fake ceilings in. We'll build fake ceilings in and provide no access method for dealing with the vermin that's immediately going to find those spaces and start using them for housing. That disgusting sound down there? That's that. That's that thing. That's the chemistry set we call Molly. Yeah. Anyway. So, went through... How did all this begin? God, I'm so disjointed right now. You guys got to excuse me. I just woke up. Squirrels. Where all this started? Squirrels. Squirrels in the attic? No, that would be too easy. I could even get up there with an air rifle and kill those damn things. Yeah, no. Squirrels in the dead space, the little overhang roof that goes to the, uh, the bathroom and the washroom and all that back there. The lower tier, which has no ability to get inside without tearing the roof open. Well, they found them a little hole and they got in there. I'm still fighting them to this day. You know how much rat poison I've pumped into that thing? Uh, either we got a whole lot of them or we got some bastard on steroids up there, man. I've given them warfarin based and this base and that base on finally the strong, expensive stuff, the bromodiome or whatever the hell they call it. Yeah, the yellow stuff. Just one bite. It's been up there about a week, and that bastard's still crawling around up there. He's eating it. You can see that he's eating it. I can look in the hole and see he's taking it away. But uh, he was the one that started it. And then we started hearing rodents in other parts. We're like in the kitchen and we can hear them bouncing around in that drop ceiling. And in the bedroom, we can hear them bouncing around in that other drop ceiling. And so, the only saving grace of this whole thing is this house has central heat and it's in the attic. So they had to punch little holes around the ducts. You know, the, the hole that the duct goes through is just a little bit bigger. 
I was able to get my arm down in there and fling like a discus, you know, fling that rat poison all around in there, man. And I just, I pummeled that entire attic with rat poison. And uh, we started getting them down in the kitchen. That's when they got the stove, the first stove. We started getting them down there. So I said, I rebaited all my traps. I started catching them down there. But I don't know what happened. We didn't have a single rat in this house until that first cold snap. So all you people think, oh, them squirrels are cute. Them rats are cute. You go buy yourself a new range after those bastards tear the insides up and pull all the insulation out and piss all over everything and destroy or chew all the wood out of your house right out from under you. Cut into wires and cause fires. There's nothing cute about a rodent other than its appearance. It is a destructive animal. A destructive animal that needs to be killed whenever in the presence of humans. I do not suffer them to live. So kill him I did. The house is quiet as a tomb now. All but that one goddamn squirrel. But his day's coming. I got a little Benjamin Discovery sitting over in the other room over there. And I just got compression on that thing. I'm going to sit me a little chair right by that hole. Because I'm a good shot with an air rifle. And I'm going to kill that son of a bitch when he pokes his head out. And then put an end to that problem. Because God knows the poison ain't killing them. They just, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, thanks for the popcorn. I'm off down the road. Decon. Ramek. Just one bite. None of them. So, it's beguiling. You know, it's like I said, if they were in the main part of the attic, I could kill them easy. I could even just put a snap trap in there. But that hole is just small enough that you can't get a trap in there. If I could get a trap in there, I'd kill them in a minute. I may end up having to tear the end off the roof just to do that. Fill that sucker up with peanut butter and bon appetit, son of a bitch. But uh, anyway, that's what's been going on. That's what's been going on. Yeah. So there's your little update. I'm probably going to be up here permanently at some point. I'm semi-permanent now. I'm trying to get myself situated so I can officially make my move. Move my homestead up here and a few other things. You know, get things right with the government. Government. And uh, that's about it. You guys haven't seen many videos because there hasn't been much happening to really post any videos. It's just been me taking care of a house. There's not really much to show for that. I mean, unless you want to watch a lot of mopping and brooming and cleaning. <laughs> now, let's see. Um, Got two new metal detectors. There will be reviews coming for those. I'll be taking care of that very soon. And I want to show you guys around the town at some point, but I don't know how to do that without giving my location away. Last time I gave my location away, I had some interesting things happen, so I'm kind of iffy on that. I am pretty well armed. It's not a big deal. I was pretty well armed back then, too. That has nothing to do with Weirdo, but it's something I can't talk about because there's things ongoing related to it. That's about it. Y'all have a good one, YouTube. Just let y'all know, I'm still alive and kicking out here, trying to get my life back in order. Take care.